go ahead and bring the frame back over to the center right now. Alright, so once it's all done, you'll get this thing here that says extracting software. Um, I am looking at both this screen and the iPod screen at the moment. Alright, uh, there might be times when I stop the video and then start a new video so that way the, the sound stays in sync. So, that's just what that, that little thing was in case something did happen. So, yeah. Um. Alright, the iPod is still not doing anything yet. So, but. This is currently extracting the software from something. Alright, verifying iPod update with Apple. I'm turning the screen. Alright, the um, screen did just flash. Uh, Alright, uh, the screen is displaying connect to iTunes right now. Preparing uh, iPod for software update. And it's got the connect to iTunes logo on the screen right now. Alright, preparing iPod for software update. We got the Apple logo going on right now. Um, on the screen at the moment. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, preparing iPod for software update is on the screen that you're looking at. Um, been doing that for quite a long time and for multiple times as well. Alright, now it's doing a marquee thing, I say. We got a little spinning wheel and now we got a progress bar underneath the Apple logo. Um, and as you guys, you guys can see, it says waiting for iPod in case that's not clear enough. Uh, I hope that all the text comes clear. I did make this um, recording frame very small on purpose so that way you, there'll be a much better likelihood of you guys actually being able to see what is on the like computer screen. So yeah, well, we're gonna go and let it update the uh, iPod software. And I think while it's doing that, I'm gonna go get my camera battery. So that way, I might just might be able to get some sort of like footage of a physical screen. Maybe we'll see. All right, so I got the camera it is now currently recording some uh, what's going on, on the iPod screen. Um, so. Yeah, it shouldn't. We'll see how we can do this. Um, and what I'm hoping I might be able to do, since I do got two, you know, different microphones technically record going at one time, I might see if I can possibly mute out the um, microphone that I'm recording through the headphones and see if I can replace it with the uh, what's on the, um, the camera. And if you heard those taps that I just did, uh, that means it was successful. So yeah, we'll see how it works out. Um, so, plus this thing is much more sensitive. The uh, the camera is anyway. So yeah, I'm keeping a constant eye on it just to make sure that we do not run out of memory. So yeah, uh, but if I cannot seem to figure out a way to get this to work, the progress bar. Let me move the mouse. The progress bar is almost full. Um, and as obviously as you guys can see on the computer screen right now, I just got a little marquee going on. So yeah, I'm just waiting patiently for it to finish up. Um, yeah, so let's give it some time. I'm just I'm gonna get out real quickly so I might be on it. Oh, the iPod has been updated and is now restarting. Please leave your iPod connected. It'll res it'll appear in the win iTunes window after restart. So let me show you this. You can see that the iPod is not in this window here. Now, if you, if the camera, if it cannot figure out a way to get the camera on to the actual video, um, there is a progress bar underneath the Apple logo at the moment showing the current progress of, I guess, boot up time, I guess, and it's full. And, um, yeah, now it's just got the Apple logo out there. Um, it just made a noise, um, and there as you guys can see the iPod is back, and if we go ahead and click on it right here, syncing iPhone-y, now look at this. This might scare you at first to see that a lot of the stuff is gone, but it'll, co it'll come back. If you, if you just keep watching the bar as it's updating, um, 
you'll see that it'll continue to populate it over time. Uh, sorry if the sound started going way out of sync. I did just now um, do some. Okay, my iPod is actually asking me to enter passcode, but not syncing, so we're going to go ahead and let it continue to sync. Um, camera seems to be doing very good. It has still got full battery power, looks like. Um, I'm showing you this color of bars down here so that you guys can see that there is it, it, it will indeed repopulate. It's not permanently gone. Um, I just got an email, so the notifications work. That's good. My iPod just made the, the made the email sound of yeah made the email sound. Oh so, yeah. Uh, yeah. There you are. Now you got a nice, good view of the uh, little, uh, the little bar thing. Um, my iPod says sync in progress at the moment. Let me see some other camera view. Hmm. Gonna adjust the camera angle a little bit. see um, the, the apps, the data for the apps just came back on, and, as well as the photos. Although I can't remember if the photos were already on there. Okay, syncing photos, syncing iPhone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. Syncing contacts, syncing everything it needs to sync. And once it's all done syncing, we should be good, and we will be officially ready to swap back to camera mode and take a kind of a first impression to look at this firmware update to see if there are indeed any somewhat noticeable differences between the two, which I highly doubt. It looks like it's mostly just bug fixes and um, improvements and stuff like that. Which improvements can mean new features, you never know. But I don't I think it would have told us in that list if there were any new features going on. Alright, iPod Sync is complete. I can now slide this to unlock it. I'm going to pull this off frame so I can enter my passcode. Alright. Let's see here. So There she is. I'll boot it up. Works fine and everything. So I think now I'm going to go ahead and um, swap over to camera view and I'm going to actually give you guys this is my first impression, my general first impressions on this new firmware update. So we're now officially done with screen recording. So.